Hi, I'm Jacqueline. And I'm Candace. Welcome to Aisle by Aisle. We're going through the grocery store to share a few tips we've learned about making healthier food and drink choices. In this segment, we'll focus on cereal and cereal bars. Cereal can be a great way to start the day, but trying to find one that's whole grain, high in fiber, low in sugar, and still tasty can be a bit challenging. I agree. When it comes to cereal, the first thing I look at is the ingredient list. The first ingredient should be whole grain, like whole wheat, whole barley, or whole oats. That means it's likely to be higher in fiber. And once I've figured that out, the next thing I look at is the nutrition facts label. First, I look at the serving size, which usually ranges from half a cup to over a cup. Then I check the calories. I want no more than 200 calories and fewer than 6 grams of sugar. My last rule is 3 grams or more of fiber. Then I decide based on the portion size. I finally found a cereal that gives me what I need and fills up my cereal bowl. That's what I'm talking about. That looks good. I'm going to try some old-fashioned oatmeal. When it comes to oatmeal, be aware of the flavored instant ones. They're loaded with added sugar and calories. If you get instant oatmeal, get plain and add your own fruit and sweetener. That way you can control how much sugar goes in it. Note that the healthier cereals tend to be located on higher shelves, while sugary cereals are at eye level to a kid in a cart. These tips for buying cereal also apply to cereal bars. Whole grain, lower in sugar, higher in fiber, and less than 200 calories per bar. Cereal bars can be a convenient substitute for cereal. Just know that they cost more. We hope this trip to the grocery store has been informative for you. It was for us. To get more information or recipes, or to download the tip sheet for this segment, visit us at www.myeatsmartmovemore.com. I'm Jacqueline. And I'm Candace. And thank you for joining us for Aisle by Aisle.